you do it for the joy of doing it. You don't do it to be famous. You don't do it to be rich. You don't do it to be uh, historically important. You do it because of the joy of doing it and the love and the passion you have for seeing these things come to life. I enjoy creating images and telling stories with materials, objects, and spatial relations. I, I think of things and I want to see them come to life. I want to see them actually take on a, a real form, a physical form. Now the box is a little crooked, but it's kind of uncomfortable. It'll be like this. Just kind of very get and touch them, but flying around. You have to have a deep commitment and passion to visualize something that doesn't exist. That, that's really what making art is. It's you have a thought, you have a vision, you have a, a an idea in your mind, and you want to bring it to life. And it, it's never existed before. It's it's something new. The freedom that you have as an artist, intellectually, is more than balanced out by the, the hard work and drudgery of making your dreams come true. So you have to be willing to go the long haul. You have to be willing to put 100% into it. And even that may not be enough. Uh, you can love a lot of things with the same amount of passion that you love your children, you love your family, you love your wife. Uh, and it's like falling in love. And what's wonderful about art, for me, is that I fall in love over and over and over and over. This is not a, this is not a business about uh, a business plan or a, uh, you know, how to build a rocket plan. This is, we don't know where this is going to go kind of a business. So we follow our passion, our gut, our, uh, our sensibilities. But, but we don't really, I don't think I want to know. I, I don't want to know where this is going to go. I'm willing to take the chance that it may, may go somewhere I hadn't planned. <laughs>